Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free disk cleanup tool you could use to remove things such as temporary files, old Windows update files, and that type of thing. So it's called a bleach bit. So it's been around for a while. So there is an installable version where you could install it, you know, like any other program and have a shortcut. Or there is the portable or standalone version where you just download it, extract the zip file, then you just run the executable. So there's nothing to install. So that's the one we're going to be using today. All right, so you just simply run the program. You'll have to be an admin to run it. All right, so when you start it up here, you have various categories. So if you have Adobe Reader, for example, you could check the boxes for that. So if you check the top one, it'll select all the categories beneath it, or you could select just individual ones too if you don't want to select everything. Then we have our deep scan with backup files. And then we have our browser cleanup section here. So depending on what web browsers you have installed, they'll show up in the list here. Chrome, don't worry about Internet Explorer, you have Edge, and so on. And then we have our system options here. For clipboard, free up some disk space, memory dump information, recycle bin. So if you don't want to empty your recycle bin, make sure you uncheck it. Then we have Windows Defender, Windows Explorer that type of thing. All right, so let's go through and just pick some of the stuff here. See what we can free up here. So you can see when you select items like this, for example, it says this option is slow, meaning it'll take a while for it to scan. It's not super slow, but of course it's going to depend on uh, how your computer is configured and how much you have in regards to these types of temporary files. Let's just do some of this. You can see it gives you a little breakdown. Do the Windows Defender backup files. And some of the stuff here. All right, so you could either clean it or you could preview it first. So we're going to preview it first to see what it's going to delete. So obviously, you know, this is going to be hard to read for the most part. All right, so at the bottom here, it gives you a little summary. So it looks like it'll be able to recover 2.6 gigabytes of space, and it's going to delete 32,000 files. So if that looks good and you approve, just simply click on Clean. And it tells you it's going to permanently delete the files and so on. So, of course, you have to agree to that. Click on delete. You can see here in the bottom left, it shows you what it's doing here. All right, so you can see we have some errors here, such as Chrome cannot be cleaned because it's currently running. And we have some locked files here. So depending on what you're cleaning here on the left, uh, you might run into some of these issues here, but it's usually going to be okay. So if it doesn't have permission to delete it, it's not going to be able to delete it, so you'll have to either do it manually or not worry about it. All right, then you have your status bar up here. About a minute remaining. All right, so now you can see it went up to four minutes, so depending on what it's doing here. All right, so the scan is complete, so I did some pausing throughout it so you didn't have to sit here and watch it, so it probably took five or six minutes maybe. And you can see here we did a free disk space wipe, so that's what made it take a little longer. And that's right here. So if you check that, it'll kind of clear up the free disk space on your computer. Not sure how well it works, but it is an option if you want to do that. So maybe if you deleted some files and you kind of want to make sure they're really deleted, you could try that out. And you can see we have some numbers after certain categories here telling you how much is cleaned up. And that. All right, so now that we ran the scan, we'll leave the items checked. And do another preview. And now you can see it has 1.2 gigs instead of, I think it was 2.6. So if I close this this time here. Explorer as well. 
Let's run it again. Except this time, uncheck this, and we'll see if we clean a little more. And you can see it's cleaning all the Chrome temporary files. All right, so we got the 1.2 gigs. So now let's preview it again to see if it's still missing anything. All right, 400 megabytes. So we'll run it again. All right, so we got some more errors here. So this is to be expected. And then one thing I've noticed when using these disk cleanup tools is that you'll run them, do the cleanup, do another analysis, and it'll find more stuff, and you could go you know, all day on it. So I don't know if it's a case of it's you know, constantly making temp files or if it's not catching everything right away. So you might have to do the same for this as well. All right, let's run it one more time just to see what it does here. And of course, if you change the options here, you're going to get different results when you do the analysis. All right, so it says it got 400 freed, so let's preview one more time. So it still says to be recovered 400 megabytes, so it could be a case of those errors not being able to delete the files that it's trying to delete. So like I said, you're probably going to run into that problem as well, depending what options you check here. But as you can see, it's a pretty useful tool, and there are a lot of options for cleanup. You know, so we got at least 2 gigabytes cleaned up from just these selections here. So of course the more you choose, uh, the more it's going to clean up. But of course just be careful that you don't have it delete something you want to keep. Alright, so I will put a link in the description where you can download BleachBit and you could try some disk cleanup of your own. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.